Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the series of solving problem statements using Java. I'm super excited. It's actually morning, 3 a.m. in the morning, and let's see. So, with that said, let's see the problem statement first. The problem statement is write a Java program to read two integers a and b. Compute a divides b and print whenever b is not zero. Raise an exception when b is equal to zero. So before we start implementation, I would like to tell you one important thing that I always follow whenever I see a problem given to me is that when a problem is given to you, try to find, uh, try to divide that problem into smaller parts and try to get the solution for the smaller parts. And ultimately, you will get the understanding of the whole part. So if you try to uh, apply that particular analogy to this particular problem statement, so we are in front of my editor right now. So first they have said we need to write a java program which reads two integers a and b after that we need to print by computing a divides b whenever b is not zero now that's quite easy but sometimes it might get complicated in some scenarios so whenever b is not equal to zero in the fifth line that they have given that uh, we need to raise an exception when b is not equal to zero now that's quite simple but in sometimes as i said before it might get complicated the problem statement might be much complex so try this approach and let me know what you guys think um, with that said let's go to the implementation part and here i'm in front of my source code that i have written and i have uploaded the same source code in my github repository i'll put the link in the description go and check it out with that said first what i have done is i have implemented I have declared two integers that is a and b if they can be x and y as well to read those va particular values from the user i have declared a scanner and the scanner will be scanning the input values from the user that is from the screen so we are going to use the input screen system.in and this is basic statement we are scanning integers so we have declared scan.nextin which is a built-in method of scan object and we are scanning the whole scan a value and after that we are scanning the b value now that's quite simple and the next comes is from line 33 to 42 around nine lines it's simple logic let's try to understand what i have done here in the try block we are using actually a try catch block to raise an exception in the try block i'm computing and storing a divides b in a separate variable called compute and i'm displaying it to the user now this particular block executes only when b is not equal to zero and when b is equal to zero the catch will try to catch the exception and try to display the message to the user this is basically the program whenever an exception is raised java uh, try to create a statement for that a message for that that we are going to display it here now the exception that we are raising here is an arithmetic exception so that's why we have used the arth arithmetic exception object in the catch block and try to use that and use a built-in message called get message and as always at the last i have tried to close the scanner to increase the efficiency of the program that's the end of the program now let's try to check out the output i've already checked we, do, uh, we don't have any errors and have uploaded those error free code in my github repository now let's see what the output we will get and how the program works now here i'm in my terminal now let's try to invoke the Java interpreter and try to compile our program and let's see what the output we get. Java part A dot Java. And it's the we don't have any errors, so it's asking the value of A. And at this time for this instance we will not put B is equal to zero. Let's try with A is as 10, B as 5. Now it gives us the appropriate output that is a divides b is 2. Now with another instance that is whenever b is equal to 0, we need to get an exception. Let's try that. And a equal to 25 and b equal to 0. Now as you can see, as we have expected, the output is exception raised divides by 0. This particular message has been raised, is being created by the Java itself. So that's the output. That's it for this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with your friends and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a great one.